Hello everybody, it's Mrs. Pound, and we are on the last video for Chapter 2, The Chemistry of Life, from the JU Biology 4th Edition. And today we're continuing on with our discussion about organic chemistry. <clears throat> Today's objectives are going to be to describe the structure of proteins, recognize DNA as the primary nucleic acid and hereditary molecule in most organisms, list the three parts of a nucleotide, and compare and contrast DNA replication and RNA transcription. So our topic, if you probably got this from the objectives, are proteins and nucleic acids. So first, let's talk about proteins. Uh, you have a lot of proteins in your body. A protein is an organic compound that is composed of amino acids. So those are the monomer units of a protein, the amino acids. And what is formed is a polypeptide chain of amino acids. And an example is enzymes. In the background here, I have a protein. They actually have uh, different levels to their structure. The main structure is just the chain of amino acids. But then these amino acids have side chains that interact and form different shapes and cause the protein to bend into special shapes. That's why when we talked about enzymes, we said they had a special shape that fit with the substrate and if you change the pH or heated them up or anything it changed the shape and they would not work well that's because of these interactions of the amino acids and it's called a polypeptide because in between each of the amino acids is what is called a peptide bond formed by dehydration synthesis by taking out a molecule of water just like for chirohydrates and lipids. So all of these uh, molecules are put together in a very similar way, very orderly, uh, just like our God, right? Uh, to make things orderly and similar. And an amino acid is the basic building blocks of a protein. Those are the monomers. And we'll actually be taking a look at that more closely in another chapter. We'll take a look at the different types of amino acids and how exactly these are put together. Now, this is tied in with nucleic acids, the molecules nucleic acids, because it's actually nucleic acids that code for proteins, okay? Uh, nucleic acids are the hereditary material of living, living things. They include DNA and RNA, and the background is actually DNA. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. This is the nucleic acid located primarily in the nucleus and it's a carrier of genetic information. Uh, deoxyribose is the type of sugar actually that's found in this nucleic acid because its structure is a double helix. Here you see that in the background that it's a twisted staircase and it actually will twist on itself again and it's composed of a double chain of nucleotides so on one side of the ladder is one chain on the other side is another chain and you're saying what is a nucleotide this is the monomer of DNA and RNA and it's composed of a sugar in the case of DNA deoxyribose a phosphate group and a base and the bases make up the rungs of the ladder they actually match up in a certain way okay um, that we will talk about in class and uh, that match up makes it easy for them to go through a process called replication and this is the process whereby a DNA molecule duplicates itself and forms a new DNA molecule. So DNA is special in the fact that it can make copies of itself, very accurate copies. Um, and it does this so that it can provide DNA for new cells because all of us started out as one cell. And now we are like trillions of cells. And so in order to get DNA in every single one of those cells, there has to be a process to do that. And that process is replication where DNA actually makes copies of itself in a very simple um, and uh, 
really very elegant way. Um, we will find that those bases that I talked about match up in certain ways. Um, adenine is one base matches up with thymine, another base. So A and T always go together, and cytosine and guanine all go, always go together, C and G. And we're going to do that process in class. We're actually going to put together molecules of DNA, uh, models of the molecule, and we are going to go through the process of replication. There's also another nucleic acid, ribonucleic acid, or RNA. This is the type of nucleic acid that forms from DNA and functions with ribosomes to form protein molecules. So that's why they put proteins and nucleic acids together. Um, RNA, it has a different sugar, ribonucleic uh, ribose, excuse me. Um, and so that's why it has a different name. It also has a different function. Okay, it doesn't stay in the nucleus like the DNA. It actually travels out of the nucleus to the ribosomes with a code to make proteins. And that process is called transcription. This is the process of forming a molecule of RNA through the action of RNA polymerase on DNA molecules. Uh, so <clears throat> it will do this. It will copy the code from DNA to RNA, take that code out to the ribosomes, and make proteins. And we're not going to get into that process quite yet. That is in another chapter that we will talk about that. So our objectives for today were to describe the structure of proteins, recognize DNA as the primary nucleic acid and hereditary molecule in most organisms, list the pre three parts of a nucleotide, and compare and contrast DNA replication and RNA transcription. So don't forget your five questions that you have to have in your margin, and keep watching the video to answer the questions.